with another video today um obviously it is wednesday but i hope everybody doing good my day was good i had an interesting day easy work day um i'm glad to be home i know that but yeah had a good day my makeup popping because i did it myself today it was a very hot day today y'all it really was it was a hot steaming day today i felt like it was like 95 or something like that i felt like my makeup was like literally melting off as you can see i'm very tired i'm sleepy but you know not really i'm just waiting for my boyfriend to get done with whatever he has to get done so I can have a conversation with him. Um, last weekend, on the 25th, I had met my boyfriend. My everything. That was the happiest day of my life. Let me tell you. Spent the weekend together. I'm so happy. I feel much more relieved. I feel much more, like, in peace. Like... It's crazy. He smells so good. I miss his kisses already. I do. I miss him so much, you guys. It was so sad. And gosh, I just fucked up my eyebrow today. But anyways, it doesn't matter. But anyways, it was very sad to see him go. I did not, like, really want to let his hand go at all. Like, I miss him like crazy already, but it's okay. You guys will meet him next time. Uh, we didn't get to do a lot, but next time we will. Um, I will post the pictures um, that me and him took. Um, I will post them in the video. A little clip. But, um, yes. I had a fun time. I had an amazing time. I was so happy. Um, like, I can't wait to spend my life with him because he's so amazing. My parents love him. You know, and pretty soon he will be part of family. Um, I'm so, like, happy. I'm so really, you just, you just don't know, you guys. I'm so happy. Um, I know I'm going to be in a good, good mood. Like, a great mood. Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah, and another thing that happened today, I went to the gas station just to get some gas that's all i wanted to get and of course it was late night and i was by myself but like i went to get i stopped in there to get some apple juice and went to get some gas so i'm thinking i needed like 20 dollars on my gas but it was actually 15 i needed on my gas like i have a superstition of where like if it's in like the middle part of like above the e like i feel like i'm gonna run out of gas and i don't know why like i'm like get some gas get some gas so i did i went to get some gas and i when i pump my gas this guy gonna say you want me to um you want me to pump the um pump your gas for you so you won't be out here you know feeling unsafe i'm like no i got it like, I wanted to pump my gas and go home. I mean, my house was right up the street. Like, I didn't need no help pumping my gas. Like, I got a man. Like, if my man was there, he would pump my gas for me. I don't need you to pump my gas. So, even um, the guy that was ringing me up, you know, he was calling me sweetheart. And I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know how to react to that. You know, all I just did was smell. Like, come on. Like, just bring my shit up, please. <laughs> and let me go home. So, I did all that. Um, then when I got home, I ate some watermelon. I'm about to get another bowl after I'm getting done with this video. Um, got me some watermelon. Tasted so good and juicy and sweet. Um, then, kind of, like, okay... 
this is a topic that I need to speak on. Um, I know there's different topics going on in this video, but it's like this one is like I want to speak on. So, you know, I'm very happy. I'm happy with, you know, my husband to be. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with him. I wouldn't want nobody else. You know, he's amazing. Um, just a few minutes ago, I had a random message at like 1.31, okay? And it was from one of my exes. So, mind you, my exes want like he was Mexican, okay? Um, literally, he messaged me off of my other Facebook, okay? And, like, I wouldn't hide anything from my boyfriend at all or anything. I'll tell him everything that's going on, and I will tell him everything that's going on. So... He had literally messaged me, telling me, basically, like, he was messaging me. Oh, God. Oh, you guys. I'm sleepy, but he messaged me from his dad's page, okay? And I put a question mark, like, what the fuck? He said his name or whatever. I'm like, okay. So, uh, he was like, this is blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, okay. And... You know, I didn't really give a fuck. So, he was like, well, I drove by your house. I drove by your house and I just missed you. I thought about you and shit like that. So, I'm saying to myself, like, I don't live there no more. Like, why are you going by my old house? You know damn well I don't come at that house. Like, that's not where I live anymore. So... He was like, well, I just, I just drove by, I missed you and everything else. And so I'm like, so to remind you guys, let me tell you, when we was together, he played me. You feel me? He played me. He had literally, you know, said he loved me. He cared about me. He said he wanted to be with me and that he really loved me. I actually believed it. That's, I actually believed that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did. But, you know, I had love for him too, you know? But don't take my love. Don't take my loyalty. Don't use me. Don't take me for granted. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. He did that. He for real did that. So, he left me for a girl. I mean, that's a fucking, like, drug addict. Okay? She literally... She literally, like, basically was, like, there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he talking about he wanted a family with me. He's saying all this, y'all. He wanted a family with me and everything else. And he's saying this, like, a couple minutes ago, he said this. Talking about, you know you love me and everything else. And you know I loved you and cared. I'm like, okay, for one, if you so-called loved and cared, you wouldn't have did me the way you treated me. And me, all the heartbreaks and all the relationships I've been through, like, for real, for real, I've only been into, like, probably two serious relationships, but they weren't even long. They only last a day or a week. You know what I'm saying? I never had four months of a great relationship. With my boyfriend now, it's like I feel very happy. I feel, you know, loved. I feel wanted. And I love that feeling. i never gotten that feeling, you know? Like, he shows me everything. He show me, shows me he cares. He shows me he loves me. He shows me that he's faithful. And I have all his passwords to every fucking thing. So no female, no female can say he did some shit or anything. Because I, I see for myself because he gave me his password. I know everything. Okay? Trust and believe. And... I want people to realize what the hell but I want people to realize um, that you're not going to play me like a fool and you're not going to give me these little pickup lines dudes really really are shitty these days like he's talking about you know you love me I used to love you and then when I found out you lied and you wasn't faithful and you was just 
like all of those no good ass men okay you feel me i have a real man right now and like i told him i'm married i don't want to even have this conversation any farther leave me alone don't talk to me i literally was done okay and that's just how i feel i feel like as a grown ass woman as a grown ass woman don't let these motherfuckers, like, play with your fucking mind. Because niggas would do that. Like, they really would. They would try everything they can. And I already knew what he wanted, you guys. I already knew what he wanted. He said these the last couple times. And, like, I knew his game. And when he kept talking and talking and talking, like, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get in my draws. And it's never going to happen. It never will all of this, all of this is my husband's. You feel me? All it is. Like, I do not need no other man to satisfy me or love me or any of that. I don't. Because I have my own man, okay? Like, niggas, I swear, is not shit. Niggas will do anything to ruin your marriage, relationship, whatever you have. They will try to ruin that. Don't get me wrong, there's some good dudes out there, but some dudes out there that play people and talk shit and, you know, try to make every girl feel like they in heaven. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. Okay? I work for my own shit. I'm very independent. I'm about to move out next year. What? I mean, I to be honest, like, I got my own shit. So, me, you know, like, I brought this... I bought this house from my parents. You feel me? You can't tell me. You can't tell me. I, I don't got my own shit. This house is in my name. But I brought it from my parents. Because we got evicted out of our old house that we used to live in because my dad had lost his job. Okay? And, like... We we was bouncing back and forth. There was times I was bouncing, you know, everywhere. You know, I was living with my friends, you know, living, you know, with my auntie, you know, my cousins. I was, you know, I was bouncing back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was horrible being homeless, you know what I'm saying? But at least we was thankful, you know, that we had a roof over our head, you know what I'm saying? Um, There were memories that I won't forget, but, like... I feel like, you know, God, God bless me with a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm very independent. I do my own things. I don't need somebody to basically, I feel like I don't need somebody to buy things for me or give me things because I get my own things. Whatever I want, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do a lot of shit for Layla. I do a lot of shit for my boyfriend, and I do. I do a lot, like, because I love them dearly. I feel like them are the only two people in my life that are very important to me and that I truly care about and that I truly love. You know, they're in my heart. They fill the empty spaces. I love them both dearly. Layla's like a daughter to me. My husband is the best thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the best thing ever. He tries so hard to make me happy, and I appreciate that. I appreciate every bit of it. I do. There's no one else, no one else that I'd rather be with. Like, he's my truly my everything. I can say to all the ladies out there, when you have a good man, you better keep them. Because they only come so rare. Like, I had relationships. You know what I'm saying? I had relationships that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I can make a book about my relationships. But you know what? Like, God bring you someone special. And God did bring me someone special. I truly love him. I truly care. And this is the best feeling I ever had. And... I want everybody to, like, you know, cherish every moment with your loved ones. It doesn't matter if it's your spouse or whatever. Cherish it because life is too short. And 
another thing there's a lot of people dying you know so young babies everything and it hurts me because no innocent life should be getting taken away no nothing you know what i'm saying so you need to cherish every moment cherish every moment in your life don't never second guess anything if your heart tells you something is wrong you need to go by your heart like you just do i know it's late it's like almost probably hitting two maybe i don't know but i'm tired um might eat some more watermelon i just wanted to make a video for you guys um i know like i said i was gonna upload more so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys understand and relate to what i have talked about in this video um subscribe give it a thumbs up and share my videos show me love support um i really appreciate my subscribers i want to say that i do um I just want everybody to follow me on my journey of every single moment that I cherish. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. And I hope to see you guys maybe tomorrow or probably do um, a weekend vlog. I don't know, but we'll definitely see. So stay tuned, you guys. Bye.